Today I'm going to show you guys how to easily swap the host of a server over to another person. All right, so first we're going to be going over what the current host of the server has to do. So on your desktop, hit Windows R and type in app data. Then hit OK. Go to local low. Go down till you see end night. Now go to Sons of the Forest. Saves. This folder with the numbers. Now go into multiplayer. Now this folder is where all your save data is for worlds you've hosted before. All right, so now you're just going to want to find the world you're swapping over. Right click on the folder. Go to send to compressed zipped folder. Just click that. Now it's going to make a zip file and this is what you're going to be sending to the new host of the world. So you can right click on it and you may get this pop up. You can just hit OK and now just copy it and send it over to the new host of the world. You can send it through Discord, email, it doesn't really matter, whatever you prefer. Now once the new host receives the zip file, you're going to want to just copy it and paste it on your desktop. Now you're going to want to right click on that and hit extract all. Then just hit extract. So once it's extracted, you're going to want to open this up and then copy this folder in here. Now that that's copied, we can go ahead and hit Windows R again, App Data, OK, Local Low, go down to End Night, Sons of the Forest, Saves, the folder with the numbers. Now in here, you're going to need a multiplayer file. If you don't already have one, just go up to New Folder and title it Multiplayer. And once you have that made, you can just go ahead and go into it. Now this is where you're going to paste those extracted files. Now to make sure you have your character's inventory and stuff, we're going to want to hit the back arrow and go to Multiplayer Client. Now you can go into any of your save files here and you're going to want to copy player inventory save data .json. Just right click and hit copy. Now go back to the multiplayer folder, go into that world we just pasted in here and just right click and hit paste. It's going to say the file already exists, just hit replace the file in this destination. Now you can go ahead and close out of this and launch Sons of the Forest. Now, when you launch Sons of the Forest, you may get this pop up from Steam. You're just going to want to make sure local save is checked and you can just hit continue. Now you can go ahead and go to multiplayer, host, continue. And now you'll have the option to load the world that we just swapped over. Now, if the old host still wants to play on the server with their same character, they will have to first join the game as a new player, then create a campsite and save the game. Now they can exit and on their desktop do the same as we did before. Windows R, app data, local low, end night. Sons of the Forest, saves this folder, then into multiplayer, into the old world they swapped over, and go down until you see player inventory save data. Now you can just copy this, go back, now go into multiplayer client, and now that you load it into the world as a new player, you'll have the world save data right here. Now just go ahead and go in here. Now just right click and paste. Hit replace the file in this destination. And now you can just go ahead and relaunch the game and join the server. I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, and if you want to keep on watching, click the video on screen now.